Welcome, this is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. And today's topic is going to be high blood pressure. And I'm gonna share with you some amazing strategies. I'm gonna share with you what actually happens biochemically and what causes it. So one of the things we love about these videos is when you watch this, wherever you're watching it from, please put your city, state, and country that you are joining us from. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. And also, if you don't like this video, let us know why. No matter when you watch this video, please post any health concerns you have. If you have a question for me, I'd be honored to help you on your journey to learning about your own biochemistry. That's what I do. And again, I'm here to teach you how to master your own biochemistry. So when we think of high blood pressure, it's definitely out there. Most of us know what it is. And the deeper meaning behind it is that there's a lot of pressure in your vasculature, in your veins, and in the arteries of your body. And the reason that that is happening is because you have a condition that I like to refer to as dirty blood. And you get dirty blood because your digestive tract actually becomes porous. You develop a condition known as leaky gut syndrome. And when that happens, things that aren't supposed to be in your blood are now in your blood and your body actually mounts an immune response so you're literally sitting in a low-grade immune response when you have high blood pressure that's the, one of the main reasons is because of the dirty blood and as this condition continues your vasculature can get damaged which is only going to kind of increase the snowball effect of what's happening throughout your body systemically so these are things that you know that you want to pay attention to and if you do have high blood pressure this is what that means that your body is actually um, in a low level of inflammation and you want to look and see what's going on so what happens in the pharmaceutical realm is that we give people medications and they do uh, certain things throughout the body and they cause the blood pressure to lower but if you understand the biochemistry of, you, of this, you'll understand that this is actually backwards. So when we lower the pressure, now your blood starts moving even slower and your blood even becomes more stagnant and the cells of your body begin to starve. So the reason the pressure is so high is your body's working hard to push the blood that's dirty and it's trying to get this blood to your cells to nutriate your cells when your blood is you know when you take a medication that lowers your blood pressure you now have less pressure and then that leads to less nutrification of your cells less oxygenation and less nutrients are getting delivered to the cells throughout your body this is not a good thing it's actually a harmful thing so if you're listening to this you've just been diagnosed with high blood pressure or you are a long-term patient with high blood pressure there are quite a few things you can do to help yourself one is definitely focus on rebuilding and regenerating your digestive tract and you can do this in a variety of ways but some of the simplest recommendations I make often is digestive enzymes getting on a really good probiotic also taking um, a little um, dose of apple cider vinegar after each meal that's going to help set the chemistry of your meal going to help you digest your food better it's kind of a cleanser for the digestive tract and so those three things right there are going to help you digest your food easier and your digestive tract is going to be able to do a better job and start repairing and slowly healing any maybe potent well clearly potent clearly known digestive issues you have or you wouldn't have these conditions to begin with the other thing you can do that is very important is movement. You want to move your body, especially when you don't feel like it. That's really when we want to move our body. So when we, um, like I said, when this congestion starts or this, you, you've been on medications for a while and you have that low blood pressure, you have the stagnation of the blood, you want to start moving your body because what ends up happening is when that blood is not moving as fast or as cleanly or as efficiently, it starts also linking into what we refer to as the lymph. And the lymph starts getting toxic. And the quickest way to clean our lymph is body movement. We want to move our body and that'll help move out the toxins and get the body working properly. And you can do that through a short exercise every day, 30 minute walk or more vigorous exercise depending on how you feel. Yoga is a really good way. 
And another one that I really love is dry brushing. Using a dry brush before showering in the morning will help move out the lymph. And you always want to start at the extremities of your body and you want to brush towards your heart. So wherever, you know, you start there and you brush towards the heart. And that's going to move the fluids of your blood and your lymph towards your, um, your, if you will, your venous system. And that's going to start cleansing out the blood and helping that repair. So the, those are some really simple things for you to do to start regenerating and helping your body uh, repair and rebuild. And of course, a huge caveat to that is nutrients. We definitely do need to nutriate. And if you are interested in pursuing that option, I, I have posted a link below in a way for you to start nutriating, which is a very simple step, but that's also going to expedite your journey into getting healthier quicker. And that's something that I encourage you to look at. So again, if you have any questions, please post those below. It's always an honor to be here with you tonight. And I look forward to seeing you next time. We'll be back on Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. All right, take care.